right, when you're buying gifts this holiday season, there's a greater chance than ever that your purchase could end up being counterfeit. Mm. Consumers are losing billions of dollars a year to fake goods. And now some retailers are turning to AI to derail criminals. Consumer investigator Christine Lazar got an inside look at how this technology works and how it could protect you. Huh. Well, you know, luxury goods, mm -hmm. a lot of people want them. Right. A lot of people can't afford them, right? 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 I can't afford them. Yeah. <laughs> it's thousands and thousands of dollars for these bags, so people are often trying to find better deals. Sometimes they think they're real, sometimes they know they're mm -hmm. fake, but either way, uh, you know, it can be a health risk right. if you have a counterfeit good. So experts tell us it's getting harder and harder to spot a fake with the naked eye, and counterfeit goods not only impact the economy, they can be dangerous to have in your closet. Tis the season to spoil those you love, and for some, that means splurging on a luxury handbag. So we have every LV bag you could ever imagine. A lot of Louis Vuitton. A lot of Louis Vuitton. It's our most popular. Foreign Objects in West LA sells pre-owned luxury items, mostly handbags, for 50 to 70 percent off the price of retail. But it's still a pretty penny to buy pre-owned. What would this yes. resell for? Um, this one, even in this worn condition, would probably still be like $700. With that much money at stake, it's little surprise that the counterfeit market is booming. A recent study by the Organization for Economic and Cooperation Development found that global illicit trade reached an estimated value of $467 billion in 2021. It's a big problem right now. Designers is expensive. A lot of these designer brands are raising their prices, so the demand for fakes is higher than it ever was, I would say. How good are some of these fakes? To the naked eye, it would be hard to tell. To uh, anyone untrained, they would think it's a real thing. It's really all about the details. I'm just going to start capturing photos. Which is why Foreign Objects founder Will Dicha uses artificial intelligence to authenticate the bags he buys and then resells. This is a beautiful Hermes Kelly box calf leather classic uh, Hermes bag. Will showed us how the system works. The devil is in the details, they say, so you have to look at every single microscopic detail. Using technology made by New York-based company Entropy, Will takes a series of photos of the handbag and uploads it to an app. I take photos of basically every square inch of this. From the stitching to the hardware, the branding and the leather, including highly magnified photos. It's looking for any little detail that might be off because a lot of these a lot of these fake bags these days and you'll see one in a second. They're so accurately done that it might be that most of it looks really good and authentic, but then there's one little detail that's off. The photos then go to a cloud within the app. And on the cloud, we have our algorithms that have been trained on millions of different data points associated with that particular brand, that particular style. Uh, and, and then they typically instantaneously get a response, yes, this is authentic, which means we have certified that product and we back that product with money. Giving the seller and the buyer assurance that the item isn't counterfeit. Entropy's CEO says when they do find a fake, they test it. Over 70% of them had lead or arsenic on them. So if you're a mother and if you have a fake bag which has lead on it, your child is potentially touching that and putting their hands in their mouth. Meaning fakes are not just an economic issue, they're a health hazard. People think that it's a victimless crime. What's the big deal? Why do I want to gig, pay money and buy the real thing? It's too expensive. It's not that valuable. They're the victim. Entropy says it has a 98.86% accuracy rate. Are you ever fooled? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Will showed us a recent bag he purchased. Just looking at this with your eyes, does it look authentic to you? Yeah, it looks authentic, it passes the eye test at first. But Entropy's technology determined it's counterfeit. Foreign objects took the financial hit and an unsuspecting customer did not. At the end of the day, I'm here to serve the customers and give them the best products, the best deals. So I wanna make sure they are buying a real piece and they know that. Right now, Entropy does not offer its technology to the consumer, but they do have thousands of retailers across the U.S. that use Entropy, and consumers can go there and pay to have their item authenticated. And there's several places in L.A. that you can do that. This is so interesting. The health aspect I never thought about. Yeah, you know, I, I've I've owned a fake. I think most women have at some yeah, point. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I never really thought about the fact that it wasn't just an issue with you know, copyright, of but course. that it was an issue of safety. No, I didn't think of that either. I mean, well, I get it why, why women do it. Those regular purses are ridiculously expensive. Oh, right. three, four, five, yeah. ten. Yeah. Nobody I mean, has money for it like that. Lots to just and lots drop. of money. Sure.
Mm. So but if you love me enough, you'll find it. Yeah, <laughs> maybe in five years, like put in my savings account. Just make sure it's not a fake. There you so go. She doesn't get lead yeah, poisoning. Yeah, I want the real no, one. Don't tell her. Christopher. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Christine.